Welcome back to this final episode as we put together the web part title, the placeholder control, everything to finish off our web part, thus demonstrating all the aspects of the PMP libraries. Without further ado, let's dive straight in. So we've chosen a list. The final thing I want to do is say, if I haven't chosen a list, then display this really, really nice um, field, uh, property field uh, thing it's got here. So this is the, for the list picker here. But what we can do is if we go back to our SPFX controls, So the item we want is the placeholder control. Let's load that up. OK, so we need to install the placeholder. And I'm going to go back to our code and I'm going to go into the FAQ. Let's put this in here. And then what we're going to say is we're going to have a placeholder. And it's going to have an edit uh, icon in there. And what we can say here is um, we can do FAQ uh, dot map in there. What we can actually do is we can say um, if props dot list GUID um, is not equal to blank, then we're going to show those FAQs. Otherwise, I'm going to put a placeholder in there. Excellent. So we put our accordion in there. And what we do is we set, we map that in there, which is excellent. Let me make sure I'm putting this in the right place. Uh, otherwise, we're going to put um, a placeholder on there. Now you can pass in lots of different um, bits in, in here, but I'm just going to get rid of those uh, extra bits here. And I'm going to say, please configure the web part. So let's see what happens there. So if I refresh this page, it's working fine. But if I put an unconfigured web part in there, it will give me um, an FA, uh, it'll give me one that hasn't been configured. So let me just see what's going on there. Make sure I've refreshed it enough. It's not showing the placeholder control. So if properties list you uh, GUID is, um, if property list GUID, let's try that because it can be undefined. Let me refresh that. There we go. So in this one here, it's saying that um, the property is undefined and I need to configure my web part. So if I click edit in here and I choose the FAQ list, therefore it's now configured. So a nice little web part just to show. I'll show that one more time. Let's put an FAQ in there. Let's get rid of this so we can see what's going on and it gives a really nice uh, one there. We can wire up the configure on there. The example goes on to uh, show how to do that as well. We can do um, a function like this.props.context.propertypane.open. Let's very quickly see if that uh, works. I don't want to go down a rabbit hole with this. Uh, on configure equals, and then we can say props dot context uh, dot open it didn't like that let's try telling it what to do yeah excellent so let me go back to the page let's refresh it and now when we click configure it will open that for us which is lovely so that's a really nice one to do. The final thing I want to do on this introduction to each of these controls is just to put the web part title in there so that we can edit the web part title. OK, so let's have a look um, at that. And we have here web part title. OK, and this is really nice. So what we need to do is we have to um, have on here uh, our um, 
settings as it's got here. Okay, so in our interface, we're going to put a few different things in here as well. So let me go to my interface and in here I'm going to add in a title, a display mode, which I need to import from a core library and an update property. Cool. The next thing I need to do is in our um, in our main uh, file, we need to include this uh, in here as well. So we need to go into our TSX file. I'm going to add that import in there, which is web part title. And the links to all these examples, by the way, I'm going to put in, in, the, uh, in the links below. And then we just need to add this web part title uh, in here. Okay. So I'm going to go down here and what I'm basically saying is show a web part title if the display mode is equal to the display mode we've passed in. Okay, let's just get rid of these because these are from a class. So we'll do that and we've got update property. So we need to um, add these uh, in here and for the update property, we just need to make sure we've got that wired up and the uh, update property is there. So as we're passing these through, we need to make sure we pass all of these uh, through, which we may have already done. Let me have a check the code. We need to go in here. No, we haven't. And we need to address these as an error. So let's put these in here. Uh, the title, we're going to pass in uh, the title display mode is this one and then we're going to put the properties in here for title. I'm going to add that in here. Excellent. And now when we're in edit mode, <laughs> we should be able to edit the web part title. So let's have a look at this. Brilliant. And then I can go in here and say FAQs. I'm going to go in here, more FAQs. And notice it's on here. If I was to preview it, the display mode changes. So it doesn't um, display there. When I go into edit mode, we can change the web part title. So there we've seen an example of using um, PMPSP to get all the uh, data back. We've seen how to use property controls in the list picker. And we've seen some of these great little um, React controls like the accordion, the placeholder, and the web part title. Now for the rest of the series, we're going to take them one by one, and you can see how to use them in your own projects. Thank you so much for joining us on this journey. For more SharePoint Framework videos, please click above. I'll see you next time.